liberals funding their competition. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I don't know when it happened. I'm not sure when liberals lost their collectivist little minds and decided that when it comes to jobs, when it comes to industry, they would rather subsidize the competition than manufacturers and jobs here at home. Back in 1993, when Jean Chrétien was trying to win power away from the conservatives and Kim Campbell was leading the, the PCs, Chrétien had an in his handbook for candidates that he wanted them driving made-in-Canada cars. BMWs were the status symbol back then, but if you were driving a Beamer, he didn't want you showing up at an event in it. He wanted you to sell it and buy something made in this country supporting Canadian workers. It was part of their value proposition to voters. I remember Dalton McGuinty, the Liberal Premier of Ontario, when Ontario was the number one manufacturer of automobiles in North America. He took great pride in that. Now? Well, now check out this news release from the Wynn government. Ontario making electric vehicles more affordable. They're bringing out an incentive program to get more people driving electric vehicles, none of which, by the way, are made in Ontario. They're going to increase the current incentive range for electric vehicles from 5,000 to 8,500. That's the current range. It's going to become 6,000 to $10,000. That's right. If you buy an overpriced vehicle, they'll give you six to $10,000. Now, most regular people can't afford to buy an electric vehicle. Even with this, they can't afford to buy an electric vehicle. So what we're talking about is a government subsidizing rich people to buy an electric vehicle. People that most likely, they've got a Range Rover or a Hummer or some other vehicle sitting in the parking lot, in the, uh, in the garage, in the driveway, to be able to drive them out of town when they want to do something else. They're also going to provide an opportunity to receive an additional $3,000 incentive for vehicles with larger battery capacities, provide an additional 1,000 incentive for vehicles with five or more seats, continue to provide incentives linked to battery capacity of more than five kilowatt hours, and cap incentives for vehicles priced between $75,000 to $150,000 at $3,000. Is this where most people operate? No. Again, we're subsidizing cars for rich people. Even if you're buying a car that's $60,000, you're going to get the, the maximum incentive. That's not the, the usual car price for the average Canadian. And as I said, none of these cars are made in Ontario. None of them are made in Canada. The top three selling electric vehicles are the Chevy Volt, made in Detroit, Michigan. You've got the Nissan Leaf that's made in plants around the world, but none here. And then you've got the the Tesla S, the ultimate rich person's electric vehicle, it's made in Fremont, California. So why is the Premier of Ontario's, well, the Premier of Ontario and Canada's largest automotive centre deciding that they're going to give giant subsidies, they're going to increase subsidies for cars made elsewhere? It makes no sense to me and it likely doesn't make any sense to you. But like I said, Liberals have gone a long way. Justin Trudeau is doing much the same thing to Alberta's oil industry. He's deciding he doesn't want to help in getting Canada's natural resources to market, so he's putting up new barriers to things like pipelines that would get our, our oil to ships, to refineries, to anything that can be useful. All that's doing is increasing the amount of Saudi oil that we're importing to Canada, something that's been happening over the last couple of years. That's right, Saudi imports of oil into Canada are up. Why? We can't get our oil to market. But that's okay. Justin Trudeau's fine with that. He's putting up roadblocks. Liberals lost their collectivist little minds. To them, the environment is more important than jobs. The environment is more important than looking after Canadians. And if that means subsidizing Saudis or workers in Detroit, Michigan or Fremont, California or in China or the UK where these electric vehicles are made, so be it. But don't look for help for Canadian workers unless it's to, well, retool and go towards their low-carbon economy that they worry about so much. To them, it's not about dealing with the Canada that's before them. It's about making the Canada they want. And it's not a Canada that you or I are ever going to recognize.